Hi, this is Matt Paulson. Today we're going to look at a dialogue that I had with Abdullah Yosef. And he's from the Philippines. And he, in our discussion, he got a little upset with me when I asked him some really pointed question about Islam. Our exchange happened on Facebook Messenger. And so you can see him uh, pointing out that he believes that even Muhammad can remove sins. And of course, I point out that Jesus, the blood of Jesus, removes all sin. And that agrees with Quran thirty nine fifty three, which says, Allah will forgive all sins. So it doesn't say anything about shirk. In Quran four forty eight, it says, Allah does not forgive association with him, but he forgives what's less than that type of sin. So he does ask me, who is your God? And I answered, Yahweh. And I added, if your God has two L's in his name, then you have a pagan God. And then he gets a little upset, but he starts changing the subjects, wants to talk about Yahweh, the word and the pronunciation. And then he starts calling me names, uh, names like Ignoramus. I started to quiz him a little bit about the Quran and asked him what Allah Flam mean means in the Quran. Apparently he didn't want to answer because he ditched out. He said, I'll get back to you when I'm not busy. But then it gets kind of interesting because he sends me a couple audio messages. Please listen to this. Hey, stupid bull. Stupid bull out just like you are. You are so a fucking ignoramus. You are fucking shit. You, you are a... Uh, uneducated. Do you know that? You are so fucking shit that you didn't know that before the advent of prophethood of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the millions of Arab Christians like the Coptic Christians and the Orthodox Christians, they already use Allah as the proper name of God. And in the ancient Hebrew, scriptures they use the word Allah as the proper name of God but they are so fucking uh, uh, prodigal that's why uh, they uh, remove the word Allah in the ancient Hebrew scriptures that is why that is one of the reasons why Israelites are being cursed by people like you are you're so fucking devil Satan If Allah uses a uh, Ali Plam meme or whatever in the Quran, only Allah knows. That is why Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, only Allah knows those words. You fucking stupid. You don't know anything. Well, I do know Quran 3.7. It says, it is he who has revealed the book to you. Some of its verses are absolutely clear and lucid. And these are the core of the book. Others are ambiguous. Those in whose heart there is perversity always go about in part which is ambiguous, seeking mischief and seeking to arrive at its meaning arbitrarily. Although no one knows their true meanings except Allah. On the contrary, those firmly rooted in knowledge say we believe in it. It is all from our Lord alone. That's a bunch of baloney because those three letters don't mean anything to anybody. It's all a bunch of gibberish. You don't even know how to speak Arabic. Fucking stupid, you're idiot. You are telling to yourself you win. You win. What did you win? You fucking stupid. You you win nothing. You will end up in hellfire because you are fucking ignoramus. So, anyways, I've been studying Islam for about ten years. And, um, Abdullah has been a Muslim for fifteen. And I think I know a little bit about Islam, and I think you can speak on the subject. Uh, Muhammad said, The believer is not a slanderer, one who curses a great deal, and who indulges in obscenity, or one who engages in fall talk. And the Apostle Paul says this, If anyone teaches otherwise and does not consent to wholesome words, or even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which accords with godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but is obsessed with disputes and arguments over words and from which come envy and strife and revilings and evil suspicions and useless wranglings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of truth. Suppose that godliness is a means of gain. From such withdraw yourself. I pray that Abdullah will repent of his cursing and come to Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.